Hey guys, today we have a Japanese katort. Here it is. So I just got it recently and I guess we'll have to redo the edge. I believe it's a 5.8 and uh, square tip. Really like the shape. I'll try to get it closer for the name. Let me see now. It's a Feon. I believe we said Feon. Feon. Um, as most Japanese razor, it's made with Swedish steel, which usually is a bit softer than the uh, English German one, but still a very good steel. Now let's have a look at the edge from close. It doesn't look too bad, so let's have a look. It's not, oop, there's some little dents, but it's not looking too bad. A few nicks, but nothing major, I'd say. We've seen much worse. Yeah, this is a weird one, but that's fine. No rust, at least. Yeah, it's looking good. A little bit. Oh, some, yeah, and a tip that has been slightly damaged. All right, so just to make sure we're doing it properly, we're gonna start with the diamond stone, the Atoma 600. We're gonna protect the spine with the tape. Just check that the blade is straight with our sharpie. I mean flat, not twisted. Okay. Now let's see if the sharpie is gone. Yeah, perfectly gone. So we have a very flat, perfectly shaped uh, blade. That's good news. Now let's build our bevel. First, I'm always do, doing some uh, back and forward. All right, you can hear a bit of slightly banging noise. It's actually this part here, you see? There's a little thing going out. Uh, that's the shape of the blade, so I need to be careful with this. I don't want to damage it. All right, and now we do the X strokes. All right, should be good. Let's have a look. Yeah, looking much better. That's our bevel. Still not perfect, but uh, it's a good base to start. Shaping the edge. Okay, now we're gonna move to the Naniva. It's a synthetic uh, Japanese stone. So it's a 1K grit. And I find it actually perfect to go straight after the diamond stone. And uh, we will still use the diamond stone to raise a slurry on it. Like so. All right, and same, same, back and forward first, and then we'll go with the usual uh, extra. I will spend a little bit of time on the tip because I've noticed that there is a dent just at the tip, so I will have to raise slightly the, ba the blade to go on the tip, just for two, three laps to remove this, um, this dent. All right, let's try the blade and have a look under the microscope. All right, now it starts to look much better. Yeah, that's a good looking edge. And that's it, the tip is perfect. All right, we, clean, we will clean stone and now we're gonna change for the next stone so you don't see it here but I will dry this uh, stone first just wipe it dry okay the next stone is also a Japanese synthetic stone and it's our usual um, Shapton 5000 5k it's a fantastic stone 
and here is the box if you if you haven't seen it yet all right same same we will raise a nice light slurry and again back and forward you need a bit of pressure but not too much and especially that this is a swedish steel and again the swedish steel is a bit softer than the usual german or english one it's still a very good steel but you can't go crazy hard pushing maximum pressure on it and um, that would damage the blade All right, now we'll finish with the usual egg strokes. And then we will go with the final base stone, which is the Nakayama LV5++, so very hard, natural Japanese stone. We will adjust the stand because it's a tiny, tiny bit shorter. and a little bit of water and we'll use different uh, slurry stones so the first one we'll use is the asano nagura tenju and so the tenju is around uh, 7 to 8k great again careful when you use the stone you see no pressure but just slightly bend the stone one side to another and that will raise a slurry quickly but no pressure you don't want to um, leave some small bits on your base stone because that will straight away damage your edge you need to have a very uh, fine slurry all right now from now on it's only egg strokes And we don't need much pressure at this stage. All right, this is done. Now, look at that edge. That's the magic of the Japanese natural stones. Perfect. Now we're gonna go fast with this one. Uh, we're gonna go fast forward. We're gonna use different um, slurry stones. So we're gonna have the next one will be the Asano Nagura Mejiro, which is eight to nine K grit. After this one, we're gonna use the Asano Nagura Koma, the last comma, which is on 10 to 12 K grit. So a very hard stone. Again, no pressure. You don't want to damage this stone, which is quite expensive, neither the base stone by scratching it. And the final stone is a natural stone also. It's a Tomonagura and it's a Nakayama Miso Asaki. So pretty much the same uh, hardness uh, as the uh, base stone. All right, and at this stage, you don't need a thick slurry at all. It's a very light slurry, just enough to see it. And of course, no pressure, just the weight of the blade at this stage. Only a few laps would be enough. All right, just make sure that the blade is flat and we are done. Let's have a look at the final edge under the microscope and it's not looking too bad at all. Now, the last thing we will need to do and I won't record it, is to do 150 laps on a slope. And 
we will have our usual hanging hair test. No, it's even singing a little bit. Trying to find the right angle for you to see the, the hair jumping. <laughs> All right. Well, look, that's looking very good. So um, that's great, really good. I had, I have to say, I had a test shave straight after and it was really good, fabulous, like very smooth. I will definitely keep the this razor part of my collection. I love the shape. It's very uh, maniable, very easy, very easy to use. So hope you liked the video. If you did, I always appreciate a small like. Thank you so much, guys. Bye now.